Hello, this is a response to uh, the kid from 13th Street and uh, your video, Organized Atheism, Good or Bad. Um, my name's Dave, by the way. I'm YouTube screen name D Farmer 1584 So on your question, Organized Atheism, Good or Bad, i got to say I don't see any bad side to organizing. Well, let's look at the question. What are, what, what are the arguments for the potential bad side? to organizing? What are the dangers of organizing? <clears throat> the arguments, I guess, go something like, we'll, we'll become like them. We'll get into dogma. We could become a cult. Those, those are, or we'll sacrifice individuality. Uh, those questions, those arguments just seem to fail immediately. And I see them as absurd. Um, because we're atheists. We're atheists. We became atheists because we rejected dogma. We looked around the world, examined the evidence, and saw that the emperor has no clothes. And we said so. If we were the type of people to give into dogma, we would be Christians or, or Muslims. But we're atheists because we reject dogma. So, what, if we organize, we'll suddenly accept dogma? That's absurd. <laughs> That's, you know, that won't happen. In addition to that, look at who we're talking about. When we talk about YouTube atheists. Look at the, the vast array of people. The diversity in, in the group that you'd call YouTube atheists. There, there's every walk of life from many continents, from every age group, and every interest group is represented. And the only thing that draws YouTube atheists together is atheism. Beyond that, they're completely different people. They're completely different people who reject dogma. So if they organize around one shared interests, how are they all of a sudden going to fall into a cult? <laughs> you know, it's absurd. No. It's not going to happen. I don't see any downside whatsoever to organizing. Um, it, and of course, if, if somebody doesn't feel comfortable with, with joining a, a movement, a loose affiliation of people who want to advance a certain idea, then of course they don't they don't have to. There's no reason to. I don't think anybody would begrudge a person who didn't want to support a particular effort. You know, I don't one thing about atheists is that, you know, we respect individuality. I mean, you know, if we organize we're not going to all of a sudden, you know, shun somebody because of their individuality that that's absurd too you know so there is no downside there is no bad side there is no danger in organizing however there's a pretty big upside um, what are the potential advantages of organizing around atheism huh. well at the risk of being dramatic you know we can change the world. We could change the world. And, of course, not just any effort that a couple dozen or a couple hundred people who call themselves YouTube atheists, you know, no, no effort that we make here on YouTube is going to by itself change the world. But it's a small part of a much larger movement that's happening now an unprecedented movement in the history of Western civilization. In the past, there's been a few brief moments in history where enlightenment has broken out briefly, only to be quickly extinguished. And in those times, the, uh, the light was never as bright as it is right now. I know it often seems when we look around the real world that 
we are completely outnumbered. And uh, it seems like theism, because it does, it dominates the world. But at the same time, there's never been a time in history when there's been so many outspoken non-believers. This is the time right now. We have a better opportunity right now than we've ever had in the history of civilization to throw down the gods. Of course, we have to be realists about, about what we can accomplish. Um, the world is theistic. It's dominated by theism. And um, so any effort to change that is, is a tough uh, task, very tough task. But again, regardless of how tough the task is, we've never had a better opportunity to undertake the task. So we can just look at it and say, uh, well, it's impossible. We can't do anything to change uh, religious domination of humanity because it's just too dominant, you know. Or we can look at the bright side and say, well, we've never had an oppor a better opportunity. You know, we, we've had great advances in science that support our claims. We're better educated. We have better communication, better methods to organize. Um, and the Islamic threat that the world faces, many people can see the root of that. They can see the root is, is that the Islamic threat is rooted in, in dogmatic religion. So people are ready. Oh, many people are ready. Maybe not enough. Who knows? Who knows? But um, one thing I don't want is to be an old man and say I never did anything to try to change it. You know, um, this is... Look, I can look around the world and see that in my life, I've never seen a better opportunity. I can examine history books and see that in history, there's never been a better opportunity than there is right now to do something about the theistic domination of humanity. Maybe it's a long shot, but it's a better shot than we've ever had. So, um, so what? Yeah, organizing on on YouTube, it it it, it helps. <laughs> it helps. Um, you know, we can reach thousands of people who may reach thousands of people and just know that they can be free of God. That they don't have to have their life dominated by a pernicious fantasy. That's what we can do by organizing. And I think it's worthwhile. And um, I, for one, will support any effort to organize, any reasonable effort, of course, I won't check my skepticism, which is what some people fear, but I'll support any any reasonable effort to advance rational, realistic thinking. <laughs>